Here's the lesson for section 6.3, graphing equations using x and y intercepts. So our whole goal of this lesson is for you to learn how to calculate x and y intercepts of a linear equation that's given to you in standard form. So we're going to start off just by looking at what is an x-intercept and what is a y-intercept. So I've given you this graph, um, this graph right here, this line. What I want you to do is I want you to tell me what the x-intercept is, tell me what the y-intercept is. So the x-intercept, what that means is where does this line, where does this line cross the x-axis? Remember the x-axis is your horizontal axis. And I'll notice it crosses the x-axis right here at that point. <coughs> the coordinates of that point are negative 3, 0. Where is the y-intercept? Y well, that's where the line crosses the vertical y-axis. So look at your line. Where does it cross the y-axis? It crosses the y-axis right here at the point 0, negative 4. Okay? So um, the x-intercept is at negative 3, 0. The y-intercept is at 0, negative 4. When, when a line is given to you in standard form, in ax plus by plus c equals 0, we looked at that last lesson, um, or the form ax plus by equals negative c, either way, um, it's easy to graph the line using the x and y intercepts. x and y intercepts. Um, we talked about last lesson why um, the reason why we would want to rearrange a formula in standard form into slope y-intercept form is because if the equation is in the form y equals mx plus b, slope y-intercept form, it's easy to graph that line using your slope and y-intercepts. But if the equation of the line is given to you in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, um, we can't tell what our slope and y-intercept is. So um, you could either rearrange that formula into slope y-intercept form to graph it, or you could find your x and y-intercepts and graph the line using your x and y-intercepts. And I'll talk to you about how you can find your x and y-intercepts from the equation in standard form. So um, the x-intercept is the x-coordinate of the point where the line crosses the x-axis. So we talked about that. The x-intercept is where the line crosses the x-axis. At the x-intercept, I want you to notice at the x-intercept right here, what's the y-coordinate of that point? The y-coordinate of that value, so remember um, a point has an x and a y-coordinate. What's the y-coordinate of that value? It's 0. What is the y-coordinate of any point on the x-axis? So let's say my x-intercept of my line was over here. This point would be 3, 0. What if it crossed the x-axis here? This point is 1, 0. Notice how the y-coordinate of any point on the x-axis is always 0. Okay, so let's go back and fill in that blank down here. At the x-intercept, y always is equal to 0. Now let's look at the y-intercept. The y-intercept is... Um, uh, the y-coordinate of the point, sorry, I should say that, I should say y-coordinate of the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So this line crosses the y-axis right here um, at the point 0, negative 4. Uh, remember a point is an x-y-coordinate, so the, y, um, the y-intercept is negative 4. What's the x-coordinate at that point? The x-coordinate is in fact 0. Okay, The x-coordinate at that point is 0. What, uh, what if my y-intercept was up here? What's the coordinate of this point? This point is 0, 3. What's the coordinate of this point if it crossed, if, let's say the line crossed the y-axis there? The coordinate of that point would be 0, 1. Notice how the x-coordinate of a y-intercept is always 0. So at the y-intercept, x is always equal to 0. Okay, so now let's determine an algebraic way of being able to determine your x and y intercepts given the equation in standard form. So I've given you this equation here in standard form, 2x minus 3y minus 6 equals 0. So that's in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. I can determine my x and y intercepts algebraically, okay? And then I'll use those intercepts to graph the line. I'll plot my x-intercept, plot my y-intercept, connect them with the line, and I now have my line. So, to find my x-intercept, all I have to do is set y to equal 0 and then solve. The, why can I do that? Well, I know at the x-intercept, no matter where the x-intercept is, if the x-intercept is here, 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 
here, here, like no matter where it crosses the x-axis, I know the y-coordinate at that point is going to be zero. So in my equation of my line, I'm going to set y to equal zero and then solve for what value of x, um, what's the value of x when y is equal to zero. So the equation of the line is 2x minus 3y minus 6 equals zero. I know at, I know at the x-intercept for the graph, y is going to equal zero. So I'm going to plug in zero for y, and then I'm going to solve to determine at what value of x um, will make y equal zero. So let's solve. So 2x minus 3 times 0. What's 3 times 0? It's 0. So that's gone. Um, minus 0 minus 6 equals 0. So 2x minus 0 is just 2x. And then I have to take away 6 still equals 0. Move that 6 to the other side of the equation. I have 2x equals, so it's minus 6 on the left. On the right it will be positive 6. 2 times x equals 6. Isolate the x by dividing the 2 to the other side. Because on the left I'm multiplying by 2, so on the right I should divide by 2. Therefore, x equals 3. So, um, when y equals 0 for this function, x is equal to 3. So, that means, so if x is equal to 3, my x-intercept is 3, 0. Okay? So, when y was equal to 0, x is equal to 3. That's my x-intercept. So I can plot that point on my graph. It crosses the x-axis at the point 3, 0. My x-intercept is at 3. If I want to find the y-intercept, okay, if I want to find the y-intercept, I know no matter where the y-intercept is, if the y-intercept is here or here or here, I know the x-coordinate of all these points is going to be 0. And in fact, the x-coordinate of any, oops, sorry, I should have wrote 6 here, the x-coordinate of any y-intercept is always going to be 0. So to determine um, the y-intercept of my line, all I have to do is set x to equal 0 in my equation and then solve to figure out um, what's the value of y when x equals 0. So my equation is 2x minus 3y minus 6 equals 0. If I want to find the y-intercept, set x to equal 0 and solve. So 2 times 0 is 0, so that's gone. So what I'm left with is negative 3y minus 6 equals 0. Move the negative 6 to the other side, it'll become a positive 6. Um, I have negative 3 times y equals 6. Um, move the negative 3 to the other side. <coughs> on the left, I'm multiplying by negative 3, so on the right, I must divide by negative 3. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. So I've determined when x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 2. So my y-intercept is at negative 2. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 2. When x was 0, y equals negative 2. That means my y-intercept is at the point 0, negative 2. So the y-intercept is at negative 2. So if I want to graph this line, all I have to do is connect these points with a perfectly straight line. And then I have the graph um, of this line. So I'm going to connect these with a straight line. Here's the graph of this line. Okay, And it'll go on forever in both directions. Okay. Let's do another example. So I'll do a little bit less explanation this time, just a little bit more of solving the equation. So if I wanted to turn the intercepts of this line in order to graph it, all I have to do is find my x-intercept by setting y to equal 0, find my y-intercept by setting x equal to 0, plot both my intercepts and connect them with the straight line, and I then have the graph of my line. So the equation of my line is 2x minus y equals 7. If I want to find the x-intercept, I know at the x-intercept, y is going to be equal to 0, so set y equal to 0, and solve for what the value of x is when y is equal to 0. So 2x minus 0 is just 2x, so 2x equals 7, therefore x equals 7 over 2. Oops, I'll do a better 2 than that. 7 over 2, in order to help me graph that, I'm going to write it as a decimal. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So that means my x-intercept is at 3.5, so it's at the point 3.5, 0. Okay? So my, when, um, when y is equal to 0, the x-coordinate is 3.5. So I'll plot that point at 3.5. It's roughly there on the x-axis. Now what I need to do, I need to now find the y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, I've got my equation 2x minus y equals 7. To find the y-intercept, I know um, no matter where the y-intercept is, um, it's going to have an x-coordinate of 0. Any point on the y-axis has an x-coordinate of 0. So plug in 0 for x, 
and solve this to determine what the value of y is when x is equal to 0, and that'll tell me where the line crosses the y-axis. 2 times 0 is 0, so I'm left with negative y equals 7. So think of this as a negative 1y. So I have negative 1 times y equals 7. Isolate the y by dividing the negative 1 to the other side. Therefore, y equals 7 divided by negative 1, which is negative 7. So when x is 0, y is negative 7. That's where I get my y-intercept. Um, is at 0, negative 7. So go on to the y-axis to negative 7. So this point is at 0, negative 7. That's my y-intercept. Connect those with a straight line. And you will then have the graph of this line. And remember, this line will go on forever in both directions. But that's what the line will look like. Okay. Um, we're also going to, so you can use the intercepts to graph the line. You could also use the intercepts to find the slope of the line um, algebraically. So we're going to do that in this question here. So if I give you the equation of a line um, in standard form, ax plus by plus c equals 0, um, I can find the x and y intercepts. We know how to do that. So the part a says determine the intercepts for the line. So if I want to find the x-intercept, all I have to do is set y to equal 0 and solve. So 5x minus 6 times 0 plus 30 equals 0. And then solve this to determine what x is equal to and y is equal to 0. And that will tell us what the x-intercept is. So 5x minus 6 times 0. 6 times 0 is 0, so that's gone. So I'm left with 5x plus 30 equals 0. And then just finish solving this equation. Move the 30 to the other side. It becomes a negative 30. Right now, x is being multiplied by 5. So on the other side of the equation, I must divide by 5. I'm left with x equals negative 6. So when y equals 0, I determine that x was equal to negative 6. So my x-intercept is at negative 6, 0. My y-intercept, I know to um, determine my y-intercept, um, I know um, no matter where, where the line crosses the y-axis, um, the point will have an x-coordinate of 0. So set x to equal 0 to solve for the y-intercept and determine what the value of y is when x is equal to 0. And that'll tell you where the line crosses the y-axis. 5 times 0 is 0, so that's gone. So I have negative 6y plus 30 equals 0. And then just solve this equation for y. So first off, isolate the term that has the y by moving that positive 30 to the other side. It becomes negative 30. Then um, isolate the term, isolate um, the y by moving the negative 6 to the other side. Right now, I'm multiplying by negative 6, so on the other side, I must divide by negative 6. Negative 30 divided by negative 6 is positive 5. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5. That means my y-intercept is at 5 on the y-axis. So if I want to find the slope of a line, all I need are two points on the line. And I have two points on the line, so I've determined both intercepts. Um, my my x-intercept was negative 6, 0, and my y-intercept was equal to 0, 5. I just want to point out one more time, notice for the x-intercept, the y-coordinate is 0, and notice for the y-intercept, the x-coordinate is 0. Okay. Um, so if I want to find the slope of this line, to find the slope of a line, all we need to do is we need to do the change in y, so y2 minus y1, divided by the change in x, x2 minus x1. And we've used this formula a lot. So all I need are two points. I've got two points on the line. So I'll make the y intercept, or sorry, I'll make the x-intercept my first point. So that'll be my x1, y1. I'll make the y-intercept my second point. That'll be my x2, y2. And it doesn't matter which one's your first point, which one's your second point. Um, and then just plug in the information into your formula. y2 minus y1, that's 5 minus 0 x2 minus x1, that's 0 minus negative 6. And that gives me 5 over 6. So the slope of the line is 5 over 6. If I want to write the equation of the line um, in slope y-intercept form, so in the form y equals mx plus b, we could rearrange our original formula um, into the form y equals mx plus b by isolating y. Or, I've got my slope, I've got my y-intercept, my slope, I've solved for was 5 over 6. I know my y-intercept. I solved for that um, in the first part of the question. The y-intercept was at 0, 5. So that means the initial value was 5. So that means my b value is 5. So just plug those into my formula. y equals 5 over 6x um, plus 5. 
and that's the equation of this line. So now I could graph the line using my slope and y-intercept. Remember a slope is rise over run. So all I have to do, I have to start by plotting my y-intercept at um, 0, 5, which is right here, so it crosses the y-axis at 5, then use my slope, uh, rise of 5, run of 6, that means up 5, over 6, plot a point. If I want to plot a point to the other side, use the opposite slope. So instead of going up 5, right 6, go down 5, and left 6, and there's another point. And you can just connect these points with a straight line, and you have your graph. And you'll notice, um, graphing the line this way, um, it gives me the same line as if I had a graph using the intercepts. Um, here's my intercept, my y-intercept at, at um, 0, 5. Here's my x-intercept at negative 6, 0. And the line goes right through those two points. And those are the, here's my x-intercept right here, negative 6, 0. Here's my y-intercept at 0, 5. And it, the line goes through those two points. So either way you graph the line, you'll get the exact same line. One more time, one more question. Let's determine the slope of the line. So determine the slope um, who has an x-intercept at negative 4 and a y-intercept at negative 6. So let's write these as points. So my x-intercept, I know at the x-intercept, the value of y is equal to 0. So if my point is x, y, it's negative 4, 0. My y-intercept, I know at the y-intercept, um, at the y-intercept, the x value, the x-coordinate is 0. And the y, the y value is going to be the y-intercept, which is negative 6. Now to find slope, all I have to do is difference in y-coordinates, so y2 minus y1, divided by difference in x-coordinates, x2 minus x1, and then I have my slope. So label your points. I'll make the x-intercept my first point, so that's x1, y1. I'll make, sorry, the, I said the x-intercept is my first point, the y-intercept will be my second point. Doesn't matter which is which again, just as long as you label them properly. So here's my first x-intercept. If x-intercept is my first point, I label that x1, y1. And if the y-intercept is my second point, I label that x2, y2. Plug everything into your formula. I get negative 6 minus 0 over x2 minus x1, so 0 minus negative 4. That gives me negative 6 over 0 minus negative 4. Minusing a negative means add, so 0 plus 4 is 4. And then just make sure that you put this... Um, you reduce this into its simplest form. So what number goes into 6 and 4? Well, they're both even numbers, so 2 goes into both. It goes into 6 3 times. It goes into 4 twice. So my slope is 3 over 2. So just to consolidate, state the steps needed to graph a line using intercepts. Um, so I guess first thing you have to do, um, find the x-intercept by setting y to equal 0 and solving. I'll just write abbreviations here. So find the x-intercept by setting y to equal 0, then solve. Then find the y-intercept by setting x to equal 0, then solve the equation for y. Then on your graph, plot your intercepts. Then, lastly, um, draw a line, a straight line, through the intercepts. And then you have the graph of your line, through the intercepts. And that's it. Um, so, just quick reminder to find, so if the equation is given to you in standard form, it's easiest to graph the line just by finding your x and y intercepts and then um, drawing a line through those two points. To find the x-intercept, set y to equal 0 and solve. To find the y-intercept, set x to equal 0 and solve. Plot your intercepts, then draw a line through them, and you've got your line. Um, so download the worksheet from jensenmath.ca and try it out. Let me know if you have any questions.